Good morning, students. I hope you're having a really great day. And I hope you had a chance to watch the videos of the children brass players. Uh, I'm still waiting to get more responses so I can I'll give you uh, the winner at the end of the week. But today we're going to learn how to make another trumpet. So a couple of days ago, we made one out of paper. And I uh, hope you had fun doing that. Today's trumpet, um, I'm going to show you two different ways of doing it. So there'll be two different trumpets. But if you use the one, if you're going to do this first one I'm going to show you, that's the top of a bottle. Um, you can't do this unless you have your mom or dad or a parent help you. So I definitely don't want any of you children, any of you students, cutting a bottle on their own. It's too dangerous. So if you have help, here I already have this cut, if you have help, all you need to do is cut off the top of a bottle. If your mom or dad can do this for you, and you only need this part, okay, that's going to be our mouthpiece. If you don't have someone to help you, do not do this. You can use a funnel, but we'll talk about that later. All right, so this is going to be our mouthpiece. Remember we talked about the different parts of the trumpet. Mouthpiece. A paper towel roll is going to be the body of the trumpet. If you don't have a paper towel roll, you can use a toilet paper roll. It'll just be shorter. And again, you'll have to ask your parent. This is a funnel, okay? So that is going to be the bell of the trumpet. All right, so let's put it together. Again, please, if you don't have someone to help you, do not cut this bottle on your own. All right, I'll show you a different way how to make it. So let me put this down so that you can see the table. All right, there we go. So, and this is a little decoration I'm gonna do on the end. So let's start with the cardboard um, with our paper towel roll. I want to make it look um, a little nicer. So for example, you can decorate the paper. You can color. I'll just do something really quick. But you can make any type of design you want. And then you can just tape the paper on the paper towel roll. Okay, so that's just to make it a little bit prettier. Weren't those kids awesome on the videos, by the way? I really liked all of them. I liked that little girl who was seven that did the national anthem. I liked... Um, trombone shorty. All right, so again, you can make a much nicer design, but what I did is I taped the piece of paper onto the paper towel cardboard, and now I'm just taping it on the end. Here we go. One, two, All right, so that's going to be the body of our trumpet. Now you're going to take the mouthpiece and you're going to tape this on to one end of the trumpet. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to start with just some scotch tape. I think I have a little bit better tape, mailing tape that I'll use. So hopefully you guys can see this. And all I'm trying to do is make sure that it's sealed. I'll show it to you up close soon. Oop. Hold on a second. So again, just trying to create a seal. so that no air escapes. All 
All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit wider tape, some masking tape. I'm gonna rip a piece off. I don't know, you can use any tape you have at home. This will add a little bit of color as well. Let me get in here. And I'm just really, really trying to make a seal. A seal means I don't want any air escaping, okay? So if I were to take more time, you know, I want to get through this video so that, you know, so watch this forever, I'd probably add even a little bit more tape just to make sure. And uh, that basically is going to be a mouthpiece. Right? Now, what's going to make it have this really cool sound? Is putting a funnel. This should be, you should have one of these in your kitchen on the end. Okay, so there's a mouthpiece. There's a funnel. So... I'm going to attach that right now, first with some regular tape, and then I'm going to use a little bit wider tape to make a, a better seal. And these, these do sound pretty good. We'll see. Time will tell. When I'm done, I'll try to, try to blow it for you, this trumpet. Again, you want to make sure that there's no air. Okay, if you really want to make sure you do a good seal. So I'm going to take some of this masking tape and put another layer of tape. Again, please, you know, no problem if you get help doing this. Nothing wrong with that. And definitely get help to to get the mouthpiece. All right, so it's as simple as that. I'm going to put one more piece up here. I think this sounds pretty good. Another piece over here just to really, really seal the air. One more little piece. You can take as long as you want. This week it's all about brass instruments. Next week we're going to do a whole nother category. Now remember, we need the, um, the holes, right? For the valves. So I'm just going to draw them on. Now you can make a handle for this too. Um, I'm not going to do one, but you can make a handle the same way you made for the other. But uh, I'm going to leave this one without a handle. I found some bows that were on a on a present, and I just thought it would be cool to make it really decorative. So I'm putting this just to make my trumpet a little fancier. Hold on a second. So I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to tape that on and then we'll try it. All right, again, mouthpiece. Are right, you guys ready? I think that's pretty good. All right. So here is the second way to make a trumpet at home. Now, let's say that you don't have help or you don't have a bottle. 
okay, a water bottle or soda bottle. This is how I would make a different type of trumpet. So, number one, you can literally just use a funnel and blow into it. Because it makes a little bit different sound than if you were just using your voice. Do, 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 do. If I do this, it has sort of a trumpety sound just because of the bell. So you can just use this, a funnel that you would have in your, your kitchen. You have to ask your mom or dad. But you can also turn this inst into an instrument without having to cut anything. So I happen to have two funnels. I had three total. So here is a toilet paper roll. Okay, just in case you don't have a paper towel roll. So this is going to be our bell. So let me tape that on right now. I'll put it down so you can see. Again, I'm going to use the blue masking tape. Again, you can decorate this just like um, the other trumpet, but you can put a piece of paper around it. So again, the whole point of taping is that you want there to be a seal. All right, so again, at home, I'd put a couple of pieces of tape. I think masking tape is a better choice than scotch tape. So here's the bell. And then if you have a smaller funnel, you can literally put it on like this and seal that up and you'll literally have another trumpet. Okay, so let me seal that up right now. That way you don't have any cutting to do. Another piece of tape. So this one may not be the prettiest trumpet, but it doesn't matter. You just want something that's going to work. And this taping of this will be a little trickier, but it's okay. Again, you can get help to do this. So I just put my first layer of tape. And I'm going to do another one. If you have wider tape, shipping tape, I thought I had it somewhere, uh, you can use that too. All right, so again, I'm just adding another layer of tape to create a seal. However you can do it, just do it. All right, so two funnels, both facing the same direction, this one as the mouthpiece, and let's not forget our valves, right? Three valves. All right, let's check this out. All right, so this is like a short trumpet. It works. And then our bigger, fancier trumpet all right so there you go i hope you have time to make one of these if you didn't get a chance to do the paper trumpet yet i hope you have a time to do that here's three of them have a really great day and i will see you tomorrow